One of the things that uh, I've been trying to understand from God is, is what specifically does He want me to do for Him in this kingdom, um, and specifically right now in my life. Um, and, and I've been you know, reading scripture and trying to find out some specific answers. What I clearly heard God say, which was totally contradictory than what I was looking for on the answer was, you know, it doesn't really matter what you do, but I do have a couple of criteria for you. Number one is it has to help bring others to Christ and help um, build a stronger relationship with me. Uh, as long as it does those two things, I will honor and bless whatever it is that you do. It was totally contradictory than what, from what I was looking for. I was looking for a specific, okay, this is what you need to do. This is what you don't need to do. And that's not what I heard. So he left that kind of wide open for me. And I think what he's telling me is explore different things and look at different things, but keep a soul focus. The only true constant we have in our lives is Christ and the Holy Spirit. That's the only true one thing that will help guide us and direct us and lead us in the direction that he wants us to be. And in order to do that, you have to be in tune with that. You have to be in tune with Christ. And, and for me, prayer is an integral part of that, as well as having a prayer partner. Having that one-on-one -on -one person that you can spend some time with on a weekly or bi-weekly basis and really talk about what's going on with your spirit and your being. And uh, have someone that can help hold you accountable uh, but can also pray with you in a loving and caring way uh, to help you get more centered uh, on you know, Christ and not of this world. I would just encourage everyone uh, to, to explore your prayer life, um, to, to really find someone that you can spend some time with. You know, we, we can't be on this journey by ourselves. As much as we think prayer is a one-on-one -on -one situation with Christ, it, it is, but yet, we need other believers. We need other people like-minded that we can lean on. Don't be afraid to step out and just, just see what the Holy Spirit has to offer.